Uh, hi. Uh, this is different. Um, I know you probably noticed the background being different because you're smart, and um, I, I have the house to myself for like the next two weeks or so now. Um, and so it's my house. Uh, and I'm taking advantage of it. I uh, I just wanted to try something kind of different, and uh, that's why today's video is different. Where I'm going to actually talk about um, Lego. I, I don't talk about any Lego themes on this channel um, at all. And so I wanted to take a look at a, a different theme that I was excited about uh, and I am now less excited about because it's too expensive. Uh, this is the Sonic theme and I'm somebody who grew up in the 90s because I'm a uh, old kid and um, I'm happy with like the sets that I see. They look good, uh, but they're too much money. Um, th this is $80 for 590 uh, pieces and if you're somebody who doesn't care about the parts count like that that's fine I don't really care too much either but $80 feels like a lot of money for what is here and there's a lot to like we're only looking at one set today because I'm bad at the algorithm um, but I wanted to show this set because there's a lot of really like instantly recognizable stuff from the Sonic franchise uh, there's this red guy here and the flying guy here because I know my characters um, but also Eggman and Shadow aren't exclusive to this set. So most of what you're buying this set for is the Drillster, uh, and Supersonic and Supersonic's cool. It has a new head mold and it's a new color. Uh, if you like yellow, um, I'm happy for you. Uh, but uh, unfortunately the Drillster itself doesn't seem to come with that many new pieces. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, and it's neat that it can come apart so you have a flyer for Eggman, uh, which makes sense. Um, and I hope that the drill spins when it drives so that it's a uh, fun room, room for kids. Uh, but also, like, what kids have $80? I don't know any kids with $80. I don't, I don't know kids. Um, so, so maybe I'm wrong about all of this. Maybe I have a bad opinion on the internet. Um, but also, it's worth noting, too, that, like, this is a theme that I think has already been surrounded by a bit of controversy for Lego because, like, the Sonic fan base is a really hard fan base to please, uh, and and I don't like that. Um, but I think that this, in general, there, there's a lot to love here, but not the price. And it's cool to have uh, the the Easter egg in the background with like uh, Shadow and a Legoized Maria because I do know my characters. Uh, and it's cool to see the shield monitor here, which is not exclusive to the set, but it's it's nice to get it and you get some flickies and things and, th and that th that's all good stuff. I, I, I like what I see. I just I, I, do I don't approve of the price. It's no good. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just kind of wanted to talk about it for a minute because um, I'm sad, uh, sadder than I've been in a, uh, ever. Um, but also like with the controversy that has surrounded the theme, I don't think it's really deserved because I know a lot of people look at it and they think, oh, it's bad for Amy to be paired with like animals and like a caretaker stuff because it's misogynistic or something. But like, I feel like it's, it's fine characterization. Like she kind of has those traits in the story anyway. Um, and like having her with like the refreshment station, I think it's cool. It's just, it's hard to give characterization to plastic toys. So having Knuckles in like a mech, while it doesn't really make sense for Knuckles to make a mech, it makes sense for Tails and Knuckles is Tails' friend. So like he could have got it from him, but it is a good way to make Knuckles imposing and look powerful because he's the power character. Um, so I, I like what I see. I don't like the money I see. Uh, because I don't see it. I don't have $80 and I want this set. Um, so yeah, anyway, if, uh, you like the video, uh, thank you. Um, uh, this is all of it. I have a Patreon in the, uh, uh, description if you want to check that out and I'll make more content like this, I guess. I am in a big chair, so I'm sitting with my legs crossed and I have tables next to me. And so it makes sense that my keyboard is in my lap. Okay. Bye-bye.